This is the Pierce locker that we got to tour. This is the room where they would harvest the animal. That's the chain that they would hoist the animal up. Roll on the floor here, take the chain and pull them up. Lead them out. Lay them back down and skin them. Take the guts out. Take the big saw off there. Slow them down the middle. That's the saw that they would use to split the animal. It's carcass. Farmers, they got their name, name tags on them. Each quarter is marked who they belong to, the date we butchered them, and then they're all stamped. That was upside down. But we have to stamp them not for sale, and that's so that, that we can't go. Now, all the boxes and stuff that we buy here, that's what I use to make the hot dogs and everything up front. And I have to buy USDA inspected meat that came from a federal plant for resale. So that's why we buy all the boxes different stuff that we use for up there. So we put them in that end, we wipe them and bring them through here and take them back out to the cutting table out, uh, out here when we're cutting them up. Come back out this way. All the little white boxes in here are freezers that people from the town can come and rent. about half of those are rented out there. A lot of people have gotten two deep freezes or whatever at home, but it's a uh, convenience to have a We don't charge much. We get 30, <coughs> excuse me, we get $30 every year to rent one of them boxes in there. It's not expensive to keep them, but it's a convenience to have your deep freeze at home in the basement or the garage where you can just walk out and grab a package. So that's what we do with those in there. And, and everything else is just, you know, the meat. We're waiting for the farmers and stuff to come and pick it up so we can keep cutting. So, any questions so far? How long will you let the beef hang then before you... In here, uh, actually we've got one in there right now that's uh, be uh, 21 days next week. He wanted, usually about a week to 10. These are for you know, right now. This is what we're doing here. Um, they're half beef, half pork. Um, we grind it, we mix it with all the seasoning and everything. And then these casings we use them are sheep intestines. Okay? Now, anytime you see a product that says NC on it, that means natural casing. And they're so the we don't have the skinless ones, the cheap ones. Um, these here too, the, we buy all these from a broker in New York and actually all these casings come from Argentina and New Zealand when they kill all the sheep. They kill for about three months down there and then they save all the intestines and wash them out. And uh, when we use the sheep casings for these, our Polish sausage that are a little bit bigger, them are the pork casings we use for them. And then around ring sausage, that's the beef intestine that they use for those. And they're all washed, cleaned, and everything, and ready to, ready to go. Um, I'll stop one here. That's the sheep intestine that he's putting on the nozzle to act as the casing for the sausages.
the mail. Everybody separated mail. Nobody had direct mail. So they put it in the cream cans, they hauled it in. And actually this room here was, uh, there was three big butter baths in here. And they had the big churn, and they churned butter and made butter here uh, years ago. And it was kind of the same deal. They sold butter all over the United States, uh, this one plant right here. And everybody would bring their 10 gallon cans full of cream in. And uh, they did just a little bit of butchering on the, and at that time, they didn't have the slaughter room back here when we first started it. Everything was butchered at home, uh, put it in the pickup, they hauled it to town, and then they put it in the cooler back there. And that's where they, and in 1970, that's when the government stopped the uh, um, butchering on the farm. So they remodeled and built the slaughter room back here to start butchering here. And everybody went to selling whole milk from the cows versus separating. So that's $40 worth of uh, sheep. Uh, right there, he's holding a package of sheep intestine, which costs about $40 for that little package. And he uses it to make the sausages. They have little tiny perforated holes in so the smoke will go into them that way. That's the same thing, they're smoking there, they're cooked, and they're ready. Uh, these are racks of ribs over here that we did this morning. Uh, these are for sale. That we go back and pack these, then put them in the case to sell for uh, racks of ribs that are already cooked and ready. Okay. Also, go to the one. Good.